Here we are outside Smith's Toys in Harlow. Uh, it's a soggy day, so don't really want to be hanging around outside. Let's get inside in the dry and let's see what we can find. Anything decent in? Don't know, not sure what to expect at the moment. I don't think um, there's much new in the pipeline. So anyway, let's take a look inside. Well, well, well. Haven't seen these before. These are brand new. I haven't even seen these online. New 143rd scale. Been looking for this one. Nissan Skyline GTR V-Spec 2 or 3. Ner Ner with Nismo parts. It's one of the longest titles for a Hot Wheels car. That is amazing. Really cool. Definitely going to get one of these. Absolutely fantastic. This is Mix uh, 3, Cars 5 and 6. We've got the Skyline and we've got the uh, Mercedes AMG. Really cool. I'll probably get both of these. <laughs> Very nice. That's fantastic. Yep, those, those are the two cars. Yeah, these are great. These come in these clamshell covers as well, so you can protect them. Really nice. Yeah, not a lot else here, um, but that's enough, isn't it? That's very cool. Been waiting for these for ages. Very nice. Have a look at the review at home. I've been waiting for these two beauties to hit the stores for a while now. Um, I think we were shown the uh, early versions of these models uh, a long time ago, maybe you know, six months ago even, perhaps. Um, I remember seeing a guy, I think it was on the Lamley channel, uh, one of the Hot Wheels designers, um, was it Mark Jones? I'm not sure who it was now, but he, he designed, uh, at least, he, he designed the Mercedes, and um, you know, he was showing us pre-rendered sort of models and stuff, and this was a long time ago, so I've taken the time to get here, um, and as I was saying in the video, I haven't seen anything online about them yet, so they're, they're very fresh. Anyway, so, yeah, very nice. Let's have a quick look at them. Let's look at the skyline first. Of course, these 143rd scale models, they come in the clamshell um, cases. Hot Wheels um, uh, sort of branding there. Uh, it's like a relief sort of in the plastic. On the back, we've got the two models that are actually in this mix. Um, models 5 and 6. The Skyline is number 5. The Mercedes number 6. Uh, I think it's very nice, these um, this packaging. These... these, these um, built-in sort of uh, display clamshell, protective clam clamshell covers, which we normally pay a few quid for, for our 164 scale models, and they actually supply them with um, these. And I think also they're probably supplying them with the Elite 64s as well, which um, I guess they should do for that price. So let's open it up. Um, it's very easy to get out. You just open it up, take away the uh, paper here at the back, the card. It should just fall out. There we go. And there's the model. I'll just remove the packaging and yeah, I just adjust the camera a little bit, get it a bit more. That's a bit better. We can see closer now. So there we are. That's a really nice model, absolutely beautiful. Uh, I'm a I'm a fan of these Hot Wheels 143rd scale models. They um they do a great job with them, I think, and um, this is one's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? And this Millennium Jade, it's a genuine uh, Nissan colour. Oh yes, of course, I've got to go over the actual title. Let's um, <laughs> get, the, get the packaging back. So it has got one of the longest titles of any Hot Wheels car, the Nissan Skyline GTR BNR 34 V-Spec 2 NUR, that's short for Nürburgring, with Nismo parts. So yeah, it covers all bases, doesn't it? So yeah, back to the model. Yeah, this is very nice. I say Millennium Jade is a Nissan colour. It's quite a, I think it's a special colour for these uh, Skylines. But yeah, plenty of details. Look at that. We've got lensed rear lights. Uh, all the details there. Got a nice um, license plate with Nismo on it. Skyline in relief. Nissan badge. GTR. Nice. The spoilers. See, the spoilers look much better. This larger scale, they look much more realistic than the sort of uh, all incorporated diecast ones we get on the one sixty four scale, which look very clunky and chunky. But yeah, this is nice. We've even got the uh, Nismo on the wheels there. Just about make that out. 
We've got um, brake discs and pads there, which, which are stationary. Of course, being Hot Wheels, these models roll beautifully. Uh, yeah, this is lovely. Detailed interior there. Can't quite see, but detailing is there. You can see we've got some uh, instruments. Let's just flip it round. Have a look through the driver's window. Yeah, <laughs> see even less that side. So yeah, back to where we were. So we can see some instruments there and uh, some dash detailing. The rest of it's all uh, black, of course. But yeah, very nice side detailing. Got the Jeep, the uh, Skyline badge there. Some some light, some side uh, indicators. I guess they are marker lights. It's nicely detailed headlamps with the indicators there in the tempo printing. These are of course lensed headlights. We've got Nismo, a Nismo on the uh, the intake there. I guess that's the intercooler intake. Yeah, this is very, very nice. Very cool model. Really nice. Oh, it's got the camera to focus a bit. Somehow lost its focus. Yeah, very cool. Very impressed with this one. This is the nicest one so far. We've got a rear um, rear view mirror there on the interior as well. So these, I mean, these are very good. I mean, the price point, £18.99 in Britain. That's very good for a model of this level of detail and build quality. They feel beautifully made, really solid. There's no rattles. Um, they feel chunky. Obviously, you've got the um, metal base with some nice detailing on there. Just There we are. You can see we've got some good detailing on that base there. Separate parts for the um, exhausts. Yeah, that's very nice. This is this is more detailed than the Mustang was. Yeah, really nice. This, as I say, the the price point for these models I think is very good for for the nineteen pounds, eighteen pounds ninety nine. They're really well priced. Um, I mean, they're not a great deal more than we pay for the um, the uh, premium models, and they're so much better. Um, and just, just to put it in context for any American viewers, um, these models in the UK cost the same as, as what we pay for the uh, team transports. And these, these are so much better. Very nice. So yeah, I don't think this one is going to be hanging around on the pegs. I know these 143rds have been fairly slow sellers, but I think this uh, Skyline is going, to be, uh, is going to move pretty quickly. So I'd, I'd get your skates off if you want one. Yeah, very nice, beautiful. Let's park it over there. Uh, the other one is the uh, Mercedes. Let me just uh, adjust the camera slightly again. So yeah, Mercedes here. Same deal, got the clamshell cover. Uh, nice image there of the uh, Mercedes actually at speed on a racetrack. Uh, just pop the clamshell open. Oops, let's try and get it open there. Oop. There we go. Open it up, let the model fall out. And grab it. Oops. <laughs> should readjust the camera again. I should, should get a different tripod really but there we go so yeah there it is that's very nice let's get the old skyline in the background there very nice this Mercedes some lovely detailing on the front there that grill looks very good We've got some lights all these lights are all uh, separate pieces on these uh, 143rd scale models got the uh, is it, well, is it Bridge, Bridgestone Potenza? Bridgestone Potenza on the, the um, tyres there. Is it Bridgestone? I think it's Bridgestone. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's sponsored by Puma Sportswear. I should have done my research and found out where this car, it's obviously a genuine race car, all, the, all these uh, sponsors are real, real world sponsors, so I should have really found out where this car is actually, uh, which, which um, race series it's from. Perhaps I'll put that in the de in the um, description. Yeah, very nice though. You've got some beautiful details on the rear there. 
Put the uh, Venturi at the bottom there, AMG, some nice uh, rear lights there, again separate units, separate plastic units, Mercedes-Benz logo on the back, all the sponsors there. Hmm. I think that's Pirelli, so it can't be Bridgestone tyres if it's sponsored by Pirelli, <laughs> must be must be Pirelli tyres. I can't, I can't quite read, the things I, I can't quite read with the naked eye what uh, brand of tyres they are, so I'll, I'll be able to see when I look back at the video, but um, yeah, very nice. Let's look at this side. Really cool. I remember the uh, designer talking about these vents under on the side here, these ones here. And he was saying he had to fight tooth and nail with the Hot Wheels bean counters, the, the, um, the accountants, to, to actually get them as proper vents with holes in the body as opposed to some sort of tampo printing or just marks in the, uh, in the metal. So they actually have cast them as literally as proper open vents there. I think that same goes for the ones over the wheels as well. Yet yeah, they appear to be vents. So yeah, these are these are such nice models. As I say, I, I, for, the, for the price point, they're brilliant. There's nothing else to touch them. Um, there are one forty third scale models available over here, quite a lot of them, but they're significantly more expensive. Uh, and these do have a, how do I describe it? They have their own sort of style, their own feel. They feel well manufactured, they feel, they feel really well made. Like. All Hot Wheels models do. Um, there's a lot of detail. There's enough detail to satisfy, a, you know, the most stringent of collectors, um, and they just have their own feel. They're, they're really nice things. I, I was very impressed with the Mustang, um, which I which I already have, uh, and these are just very very nice models. Like I, I I recommend you buy at least one. Buy if you can get hold of the Skyline if you're a JDM fan. Buy that because that's that's a top model. Yeah, these are lovely. Okay, let's have some closer shots of them. Yeah, here's some more close-up shots of the models together. Looking very, very nice there, really, really cool. And look around them. Actually pretty easy if I turn them around rather than just move the camera about. There we go, some rear view shots there. Very, very nice indeed, really cool. Yeah, these are great models. Yeah, so there you are, the latest uh, 143rd scale Hot Wheels. Um, keep your eyes out for them, they're at Smith's Toys at the moment, at least they were in Harlow. Um, new delivery this week, I was lucky the, uh, the staff were just putting out the latest um, deliveries and in fact I missed them because they, they weren't in the place they normally are and um, luckily a very nice young lady there who was putting out the, the stock pointed them out to me and um, yeah so I, I probably would have missed them otherwise. So there you go, the latest one 43rds from Hot Wheels. I hope you enjoyed the video and I shall catch you soon.